the earth in the solar system. As night falls, we can see thousands of twinkling objects in the sky. The sun and all these twinkling objects are called stars. We feel we are surrounded by the shining celestial bodies. We cannot count these celestial bodies with our naked eyes because they are several millions of kilometers away from us. Study at a glance. Solar system, our planet Earth, Moon, Earth's only companion. Solar system. Soul in Roman mythology is the sun god. Solar means related to the sun. The family of the sun is therefore called the solar system. The celestial bodies or heavenly bodies consisting of the sun, its planets, satellites, asteroids, meteoroids and dust particles form the solar system. To understand in detail about stars and planets, we can trace out the difference between a star and a planet. Planet receives heat and light from the sun. Star has its own heat and light. Planet has a spherical body. Planets only reflect the light received from the sun. Star is a very big and hot ball of fire made of gases. The sun is also a star. Planets do not twinkle because they do not possess their own light. Stars gives out huge flames. It radiates a great amount of heat and light. There are eight major planets. Our Earth is also one of them. Stars are very far from us. Universe Our Earth is a small planet in the solar system. There are many millions of stars like the Sun and some of these stars also have planets revolving around them. A cloud of gas and dust between two stars is called a nebula. Our Sun and all its family members have evolved from nebula matter. Millions of stars like the Sun are grouped together to be called a galaxy. The galaxy in which the Sun is situated is called the Milky Way or Akash Ganga. The universe consists of millions of such galaxies. The star nearest to the Sun is Proxima Centauri. It takes about four years for light to travel the distance between Proxima Centauri and the Earth. Constellation In the night sky, the stars form various patterns and designs. A group of stars forming a particular pattern or design is called constellation. Saptarishi is one of such constellations. It is a group of seven stars, that is, seven sages. The constellation Saptarishi is called Ursa Major in Latin and Big Bear in English. In the past, people used to determine directions by watching the stars. The North Star or the Pole Star indicated the North because the Sun. The Sun is at the center of the solar system. It is the head of the solar family. It is made up of extremely hot gases. Light travels at a speed of about 3 lakh kilometers per second. The Sun provides the gravitational pull that binds the solar system. It is also a massive storehouse of energy. The energy is essential for life on the Earth. The Sun is a star. Scientists believe but the sun has been formed from a moving cloud of gases, which is called nebula. Planets Planets, according to their distance from the sun, are the following. Mercury Venus Earth Mars Jupiter Saturn Uranus Neptune the planets are of varying sizes. Jupiter is the largest of all planets revolving around the Sun in elliptical paths called orbits. Mercury 
if you ask the question, which is the nearest planet to the sun? It is Mercury, which is the nearest planet to the sun. It takes only about 88 days to complete its revolution around the sun. It has the shortest orbit. There is no trace of water and atmosphere around this planet and hence life is not possible on this planet. Venus When we talk about this planet, it is called Earth's twin. Why do we call this planet as Earth's twin? Its size, mass and density are similar to the Earth. That is why it is often known as Earth's twin. This planet is also known as the morning or evening star because Venus is visible in the sky in the early morning or immediately after sunset. Earth We all are familiar with the planet Earth because it is the only planet where all forms of life sustains. Earth takes 365 days and 6 hours to complete one revolution around the sun. We call this period year. It is the third planet in terms of distance from the sun, Mars. We often hear about the planet Mars as red planet. Why do we call it a red planet? It is called red planet because of the red color of its soil. It is smaller than the earth. It has volcanic craters. Mars also has polar ice caps. Jupiter satellites. Its surface is made up of many gases like comets. These are heavenly bodies that revolve around the sun. They have a head called coma and a long tail after them. They appear as beautiful shining bodies in the sky. Comets appear rarely as they have highly elongated orbits around the sun. Halley's Comet can be seen once in 76 years. Meteors They are also known as shooting stars. They are small, celestial bodies. When they reach the Earth's atmosphere, they get heated by friction and eventually burn themselves, causing a glow of light. They turn into fine dust before they fall onto the Earth. Meteorites. They are similar to meteors but they are bigger in size. They do not burn completely but some parts remain unburnt. The meteorites are attracted to the earth and when they fall on the earth they cause huge craters. Asteroids. They are small planetary bodies which revolve around the sun in the big gap between the orbits of Mars and Jupiter. They are also called planetoids. The largest asteroid is Ceres. Asteroids are parts of a planet which exploded many years back. Our planet Earth Earth is located at an optimum distance from the Sun so that it is neither too hot like Mercury, nor too cold like Pluto. Extremes of temperature between day and night are reduced because of the presence of the atmosphere. There is abundance of water in solid, liquid and vapor state. Presence of oxygen in the atmosphere and water on the earth has enabled the evolution of various forms of life. Plants animals and human beings. Owing to the abundance of water, the planet appears blue from the space and hence Earth got the name Blue Planet. Moon, Earth's only companion. Moon is the only 
satellite of the Earth. The diameter of the Moon is about one-fourth of that of the Earth. The Moon appears big compared to other heavenly bodies because of its relative closeness to the Earth. The moon reflects light from the sun. The moon rotates on an axis and revolves around the earth. It takes 27 days and 8 hours to complete one revolution around the earth. The time taken to complete one rotation is also the same. Therefore, only one side of the moon is always visible to us. There is no atmosphere or water on the moon. The moon's surface consists of irregular hills and basins. There is no soil either. Satellites Satellites are those heavenly bodies which revolve around the planets and follow the planets in their movement around the sun. They have no heat and light. Satellites reflect light from the sun and appear as bright objects in the night sky. Space satellites are launched by various countries for meteorological information, telecommunication and disaster warning. The first Indian space satellite, Aryabhatta, was launched in 1975. Summary our planet Earth is a part of the solar system. It consists of the Sun and eight planets. Asteroids are small planet-like bodies revolving around the Sun. Satellites revolve around the planets and have no heat or light of their own. Comets are heavenly bodies that revolve around the Sun. They have a head called comma and a long tail after them. Meteors are also known as shooting stars. They are small celestial bodies. Owing to the abundance of water, the planet Earth appears blue from the space and hence the name Blue Planet. The Moon is the only satellite of the Earth. The moon reflects light from the sun.